All right, what we're looking at is our assignment, which is to diagram a Cuban fun cowbell. I hope it'll be fun. Anyway, the purpose of this is to help you to analyze rhythms, to focus your attention on really what's going on in, in the rhythm in music and to have a basic understanding of that, which is what uh, hopefully you'll, uh, the end objective will become. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. Here's our loop right here, Cuban Fun cow Cowbell. It spans one measure, and this measure has eight beats in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Notice that in between these is another little slash, smaller to indicate the uh, subdivision of these beats. And that's important because not all of the beats will occur on these main ones. Some of them will occur in these subdivisions right here. So keep an eye out for that. That's important. And when they do occur here, that is called syncopation. Here's the obvious beat where we expect them to be played. But when they're played in between, that adds a different character to the rhythm and is called in music syncopation. <clears throat> All right, let's... Uh, Let's begin now by listening to the rhythm by itself. And you have to, uh, what you need to do is listen for how many different sounds this cowbell produces. And these are going to be the sounds that you're going to indicate on this diagram as far as where they occur. Let's listen to it. All right, that was played twice. And you heard two different sounds, one a medium high-pitched uh, sound on the cowbell, and then a more high-pitched sound uh, as well. So you can indicate the medium pitch or the lower-pitched one with an X. So just put all the occurrences of that in this 8-beat measure using the X, and then a horizontal slash to indicate where the high-pitched beats come. Now some of them, as I said, will, will come in between the main beats, so you have to watch out for that. All right, now I will provide for you here a pulse. Now the, this is the underlying pulse of the rhythm. The cow, no instrument or no sound in the cowbell is playing this underlying pulse. It's basically there to uh, tell us where the beats occur. And that's kind of like the ruler that we're using to figure out where the beats are sounding. So here it is just by itself. And by the way, the tempo that we're playing this at is 102 beats per sec uh, minute. Okay. So when you're listening to the cowbell, ignore that sound. I mean, you're not going to write that sound out. You just want to focus on the cowbell sounds. But uh, this will just be like a reference point for where the beats come. All right. And I won't give you a visual indication on this to make it a little, little harder for you. Uh, see, if you can f see if you can do it without that visual indicator of where the beats are actually occurring. Here we go. Uh, let me solo both instruments. Here we go. Okay, 